fuzzy logic control, fundamentally an attempt to get computers to think more like people. First, real-world inputs are fuzzified to obtain degrees of membership. Then, intuitive rules are applied to get output memberships. Finally, defuzzification computes the real-world quantities which are needed for control. Now, I know that was a lot of really fancy words in a short amount of time, but the truth is that both fuzzification and defuzzification are rather straightforward procedures. My goal in the next two minutes is to demonstrate exactly how pivotal intuition is to the design process with a practical example we can all solve together. Let's consider that we're the lead designer at Segway and we want to design a self-balancing robot that will eventually carry people. Our goal then is to both balance and drive towards the target. To help the example, I'm going to include a diagram with all the terminology we need clearly labeled. Of course, with no control, the Segway simply falls over and that's not good. I want you to pause the video and think about the simplest response the Segway should have to stop itself from tipping over. Okay, hopefully most of you realize that if the Segway is tilted to the right, it should drive to the right to stay balanced. And similar story when tilted to the left. I'm going to collect our inference rules at the bottom of the screen for reference. Let's apply these new rules and see what happens. Well, that didn't go as planned. Although there is an improvement, we are clearly not balancing. Let's try using the rate at which the segue is falling to create a new set of rules. If the cart is falling to the right, I'm going to add another rule to drive to the right and same for falling left. Let's add these new rules and run the simulation again. Much better. However, we still have a problem. The rider most likely wants to actually drive somewhere. In this case, towards the red line. I'll pause the video again and I want you to try to think up a suitable rule to do this using the Segway's position. Try to think very carefully about how the Segway should move to achieve this goal. I'm sure most of your immediate reactions were, oh this is simple, if the Segway is positioned to the right, just drive to the left. Let's quickly check on this theory and simulate again. Oops, we drove completely in the wrong direction. Let's think about this very carefully. What we do know is that to move left, the Segway must already be tilting toward the left. It makes sense then that when the Segway is positioned to the right, we actually need to drive slightly to the right to first establish the correct tilt. Let's simulate again to confirm this theory. And yes, the results are good, but not great. The Segway really drives past its objective on the first attempt. Let's apply the same trick we used with the tilt and consider the direction of travel. If the Segway is traveling to the right, let's drive faster to the right to rebalance. And same for traveling left. And success! The robot balances on the target position. Notice throughout this process that no mathematical calculations were required and we only need a minimal understanding of the Segway. How tall was it? We don't care. How much friction was there between the tires and the ground? Don't care. Using intuition alone, we designed a fuzzy logic control scheme to achieve our goal. This has been Fuzzy Logic Control in 200 seconds. I hope you learned something.